Hello everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how to paint Dreadblade Heroes. Here is the list of colors that I'm going to be using on these miniatures. I assembled the horses, the riders I did not and I primed them in Abaddon Black. So the first color I'm going to use is Celestial Grey. I start base coating all the spiritual uh, finishing of each miniature and just where it starts to become more physical I am starting to apply some thin lines, spread it out. When I'm done with uh, painting all the areas, I go through it once more, just to have a much clearer grayish finish of each point. do the exactly the same on the riders bottom part as well making sure that I'm painting also the inside in the same way as well The next color I'm going to use is Incubi Darkness and now I'm going to use it as a base coat on the physical form of each body and just where the celestial grey area is I am trying to make the same zigzag areas a little bit of blending on each side I also apply multiple layers, however, where with the Celestial Grey meeting point is, I'm leaving it as it is. On the rider's lower coat, the upper row part, I leave it a bad and black and from there I start applying the Incubi Darkness. Now I'm going to use Nihilite Oxide Technical and I'm applying it on all the Celestial Grey areas and just a little bit over I'm bringing with my brush this paint where it meets with the Incubi Darkness. and also the same way with the rider's robe.
Once the nylac oxide is completely dry, now I'm going to use Ulthan Grey. I use a large dry brush and start dry brushing all the tip of each spiritual finish. Just to have that really nice transition from dark to bright. It is also a good tip if with a small brush each of the tips you just cover it with Ulthan Grey as well. Now I'm going to use a mix of Lamia Medium and Colia Green Shade, the 3 to 1 part ratio. And with the first layer I just give a whole wash on each model. Once it is dry, then I'm applying a second layer and this time I'm more focusing where the meeting point is from bright to dark and just keep on applying this. With the second layer it's already visible, however I'm adding a third one and just where the blending point is I want to make a really smooth blending from dark to bright. And I'm adding a fourth layer as well, so that it really blends together nicely. Once it is completely dry, I'm going to use Capalite Green and I grab my large dry brush and start dry brushing the body of the horse. So all the highlighted area is going to be much more visible and also it makes a nicer blending with the spiritual form. After the dry brush I grab a small layer brush and start layering 
with a little amount because with the dry brushing it's already more visible however I want to make it more contrast of each muscles the ribs and all the sharpest points On the rider's rope, I use uh, Edge Highlight with Cavalier Green. Now I'm going to use Cyberite Green and with a small layer brush I start highlighting on the horse. I also make an edge highlight with the spiritual forms so it gives a nice blending finish. On the rider's hood as well. As you can see from that dark part, I just go with a touch over so it gives a nice blending. Don't forget the inside part as well. Now I'm going to use Piltan Green mixed with Lamium Medium, a 1 to 8 part ratio. The reason being is that, sadly, Games Workshop stopped producing the Waywatcher Green Glaze, so I decided to make my own one. And luckily I found this is the closest one. And I would say it's even better than Waywatcher Green Glaze. So I start applying it in some of the random areas just to make sure that there is that nice greenish finish on the spiritual form. And finishing it with Wolfthorn Grey, I do an edge highlight of each tip of the spiritual form. As you can see, the spirit body is finished. Now I'm moving on to the bones and the rider's skin. So for this I'm going to use Iron Rack Skin as a base color. I start base painting all the bones and also the skull of the horse.
on the rider I base paint the hands and the head. Agrax Earthshade Wash and start applying it on all the bones of the horse. skin I'm going to use a uh, Draken of Nightshade mixed with Lamian Medium uh, 1 to 3 part ratio and give it an even wash on the skin Once the washes are completely dry, now I'm going back to Iron Rock Skin, especially on the horse. First I start dry brushing on the skull. small layer brush and just finishing it with by covering all the parts where the plastic is meeting and the wash went there as well so that it looks even with deep kim flesh I start layering all the bones and also highlighting the skull. Rider, I start highlighting Finishing it with Screaming Skull, mainly I paint all the teeth that are visible on the miniatures, also the rider's teeth, but also some sharpest features such as the eye sockets, the cheeks, 
It's also good to give it a nice highlight. Now I'm going to use Rhinox Hide and with this color I base paint the nose band, the head band, also the throat latch and the curb brain. With a bed in black, I base paint the curb rein of the other horse. I want to make it a little bit more unique of each one. I'm using lead belcher for the snaffle bit and also some of the metallic bits that are visible on the curb rein. I'm doing the same on the other horse as well. Now I'm going to use Noon Oil and I give it a wash with all the painted areas that is painted with a bed in black, lead belcher and rhinox hide. Once the wash is completely dry, now I'm going to use Gorthor Brown and start highlighting all the leather parts. And with Stormhost Silver, I start highlighting all the metal parts. I also base paint the thread on the curbs so that it gives a really nice finish. The 
only part left is the black so with mechanical standard gray I highlight all the areas With that the horses are complete now I'm gonna move on to the hood and the helmet the first color I'm going to use is Dark Reaper at this point I fully assembled the miniature and with a small dry brush I start dry brushing the hood With Mechanical Standard Grey, I fine highlight all the hood areas. Now I'm going to use Dumbo Brown on the top of the hood and start base painting it. I give it a wash with Noon Oil. And with Corn Red, I do an edge highlight on the top of the hood and also just making it a little bit thicker on the top so that gives a nice highlight effect onto it Now I'm going to use lead belcher and base painting the helmet. I use Collier Green Shade Wash on the helmet. Once the wash is completely dry, now I'm using Stormhost Silver and layering and highlighting the helmet and also base painting the pins on the top of the hood. I 
can move on to the swords now. The first color I'm going to use is Dumbo Brown as a base color. And start painting the blades of each sword. Now I'm going to use Riser Rust, dry paint, and start dry brushing the blades. Then I'm giving a second dry brush with Lead Belcher. With Vallejo Wash Light Rust. I give it a wash on the sword. And with Stormhost Silver give a final dry brush randomly on each sword. With Balthazar Gold I base paint the cross guard, the pommel and the center part of the helmet. using Agrax Earthshade Wash on all the gold details. And finishing it with Psychorax Bronze. I give a layer and highlight on all the gold details. And the Dreadblade Harrows are complete. Thank you so much for choosing me checking my videos I hope you find them useful I have the base as well recorded I will be putting it on a separate video if you find my videos useful and helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit the like button which helps out the channel a lot and get notified by pushing the bell button for future tutorial videos. Thanks for watching and choosing me. Cheers.